Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, Tuesday, October 18th, 2016, and a critical update. Julian Assange, health on ropes, as Ecuador cuts the internet. So what's going on here, folks? Julian Assange no longer has internet access, and his health is on the ropes. And he was also paid a visit by Pamela Anderson, who I guess not only gave him a vegan meal, and some are speculating potentially poisoned him, but maybe also blew him. I mean, can someone please give this guy a vitamin D pill, for God's sakes? He's been in an essential prison for his own mind, although he's had connectivity to the internet for some time, in London, in an Ecuadorian hellhole. And now, mysteriously, around the same time of these giant Podesta email leaks that continue to damage Hillary Rotten Clinton and her campaign, the lights go out. Now, I mentioned this yesterday. Just like they've turned off his access and Julian Assange's access to the Internet, they're going to do the same thing to you, the little guy, the peasant, the sheep here in the United States of America, the good old USAA. Because this is what this country is about, folks. Total tyranny, total lies, total bullshit, and total fear and control being pushed by these criminals at the tippy top of our land. Julian Assange, I fear his health is on the rope, something that Pamela Anderson was also concerned about. Now, I know there's propaganda around this, but I do think that there's legitimacy to the fear that Pamela Anderson could be paid off and being paid to visit Julian Assange, kind of like a sex, sexual plant to maybe, I don't know, slip him something or take his eye off the ball. Or maybe she's there to gather information by, you know, putting her big fat you know what in his face. I mean, I don't think he's seen a pretty woman in a very long time. So very, very interesting. And I think we should be very suspicious about Pamela Anderson's visit. Now, in addition to that, there have been several critical updates released, courtesy of WikiLeaks and the Twitter feed, which still is operating because, of course, Julian Assange has a dead man switch, right? If he dies and the lights literally go out physically for Julian Assange, well, then watch out, Hillary Clinton, and watch the dump continue in a continuous dump of emails flourish for the world to see. Now, this is a Twitter update. I encourage you to follow them, at WikiLeaks on Twitter. Here are some recent tweets. A front has released through the U.S. Democratic media an elaborate story accusing Julian Assange of pedophilia. This is the first I heard about this morning. And taking a million dollars from Russia. You see, they want to paint and they want to position everything as a Russian conspiracy, right? Donald Trump's working for Russia, according to the bullshit mainstream media. Uh, the deplorables that actually want Donald Trump as a president, are, they're also uh, being used as a Russian asset. You know, they want to paint this picture, number one, because we're going to war. We're already at war. Hillary Clinton has declared a state of war. She did this during the verbally during the second debate. This is a state of war in America. America is at war, diametrically, politically, and economically opposed to Russia and China. And this is an alert. I talked about it yesterday. Vladimir Putin preparing some 40 million odd Russians for nuclear holocaust. A total fallout. Back to Julian Assange. The John Kerry private meeting with Ecuador was made on the sidelines of the negotiations which took place principally on September 26 in Colombia. And this is where the big update is. John Kerry, according to WikiLeaks, pressured through Hillary Clinton and the Clintonista clan pressured this internet shutdown. And it appears that Ecuador caved and shut down the internet, which raises some speculation. Is Ecuador now giving up on Julian Assange? Have they been pressured into some kind of situation where they're now backing down? Is Julian Assange alive? That's one of the top search terms. If you take a look at Google Trends right now, Julian Assange, dead or alive. And then they send out these cryptic tweets yesterday, which I think was more of a warning. Like, look, if anything happens to Julian, this is what's coming. Here, here's the keys to the kingdom, so to speak. Here are some codes 
of some of the damning information that we've got. Because there's two thoughts here, folks. Julian, Ass people will always ask me. They'll be like, Christopher, why doesn't Julian Assange just release everything? You know, dump it all today. Get out all the truth immediately, right now. Well, he's got to hold some of this back, right? He's got to hold back some of the most damaging information, I think, just to keep his sorry ass alive. It's a defense mechanism. It's his personal defense mechanism. By holding back critical, damaging information, leaking strategically, but always letting the authorities know, people like Hillary Clinton, I've got enough that if something happens to me, you're freaking screwed. You're finished. You're done. If you think what we leaked through Chelsea Manning or on Iraq and Afghanistan or the Podesta emails is anything, man, you should see what we've really got up our sleeve. Now, I'm also getting a little antsy here because we have only several weeks before the election of a lifetime, November 8, 2016, as I put out a critical emergency update yesterday. I fear a Hillary Clinton presidency. You know, if you've been thinking about getting out of the United States, and I'm not saying that I'm going personally, but if you've been thinking about it, now's the time. I fear a Hillary Clinton presidency. Can you imagine what she's going to do as president of the United States? The attacks on free speech, the attack on the Second Amendment, all of our freedom and liberty, built in inherently under God into a very sacred document called the Constitution that they continue to piss on. The point of this video is Julian Assange and WikiLeaks are in a very, very precarious situation. There's a reason people have been speculating whether or not Julian Assange is dead or alive. And I think there's more going on behind the scenes than even WikiLeaks is letting on right now. I think we need to pray for Julian Assange's well-being and his safety, a truth teller who all he's done, all he's done is leaked out the truth about our criminal, corrupt system. Something Donald Trump is right about. You know, they just recently released a flurry of emails, the Podesta emails. Part 11 was the most recent release. I can only imagine what they, what's coming next. How damaging it actually is to Hillary Clinton. You know, they always want to discredit these figures, whether or not it's Julian Assange or Donald Trump, and link them to like, groping scandals, which are totally baseless and totally predictable. And in Julian Assange's case, uh, sexual misconduct uh, allegations he's facing in Sweden, although we know it's a total smokescreen and it's just baloney. And now, according to WikiLeaks, pedophilia. They sink that low. Remember when Hillary Clinton was like, when they go low, we go high. Bullshit. You're the one in the gutter, you freaking criminal. And it's disgusting. Mystery around Julian Assange, swirling as to the status at the Ecuadorian embassy from London, midway through releasing a series of damaging disclosures about U.S. presidential contender Hillary Clinton. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange says his hosts at the Ecuadorian embassy in London abruptly cut him off from the internet. Ecuador caved. This is important. If it wasn't for the embassy in London and Ecuador's backing, Assange would be dead. The news adds another layer of intrigue to a campaign which has been roiled by dramatic leaks and allegations of state-sponsored subversion. We can confirm Ecuador cut off Assange's internet access Saturday, 5 p.m., shortly after publication, conveniently, of Clinton's Goldman Sachs speeches, the group said in a message posted to Twitter late Monday. In a follow-up message posted Tuesday, the group claimed U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry had personally intervened to ask Ecuador to stop Assange from publishing documents about Clinton, citing multiple U.S. sources. WikiLeaks said the request was made on the sidelines of negotiations which took place last month in Colombia. Hillary's behind this. John Kerry's behind this. Again, this is scary, scary stuff, folks. Just like they've turned off Julian Assange, and they've shut them up. They can do the same thing to you. Why do you think the National Spying Agency exists? Did they stop spying on you ever since we found out those leaks from Edward Snowden? Were they also accused of having strong ties to Russia? No. They continue to do it. Why? Because all they wanted you to know is about the spy. To raise the fear card. To understand and 
Fear equals control to understand that you're being controlled and watched at any given moment. Anything you say and or do will be used against you at any time of their so choosing. They do not give a shit that it's a direct violation of the Constitution and illegal search and seizure. All they wanted you to know is about the sheer fact that they're spying on you. Right? Remember when we said things like, hey, are you guys spying on grandma? And they're like, oh, no, we don't spy on grandma and like normal people. And then it's come out that, yes, they do. In fact, a major bombshell just dropped at Yahoo. A bunch of passwords were stolen. But it was actually running data mining for the U.S. federal government, mining your emails, many of us that use Yahoo, just to check, you know, for terrorist activity. Or just to learn things about you, maybe market to you, make money off you, those kinds of things. The giant corporate shenanigan cartel that is America today. One big freaking commercial, an advertising scam to brainwash you, to put you to sleep. Again, folks, this is a bombshell. Ecuador cut off Assange's internet at U.S. requests, according to WikiLeaks. This is damning. This is serious. You know, I think it's legitimate to be concerned about Assange's health. Supposedly, he needs surgery, gum surgery. He's having problems with his shoulder. There was even reports, I believe back in 2012, that he had a heart condition that needed to be tended to, but he's fearful of seeking medical attention because if he does, he'll be extradited to the United States and probably executed without a trial. Is this fair? A truth teller, a leaker, just showing the truth to the world, but the American criminal corrupt government doesn't like it. And so they're going to do everything in their power to shut him up and shut him down. Again, folks, Assange has to withhold some of this damaging information. But I expect in the not-too-distant future, in the coming days, even big, bigger bombshells are coming. I'm Christopher Green. Get this video out everywhere, make it viral, hard hitting it in your face, and I'd like to hear from you. Put your comment, question in the box below. Peace.